Hey guys, so today I'm doing a little haul, and it's pretty much just from Bath and Body Works and then Ulta. So, yeah, I didn't get like a bunch, but I got enough to make a haul, and I can't get stuff at Ulta and like not show you guys. So, yeah, and sorry if I sound kind of like <clears throat> gross, but um, I left school today because I felt like poop, and then I literally slept from like 12 to 6, so. Yeah, I like just woke up not that long ago, like an hour ago, and I'm still like dead. So, yeah, I'm going to start off with Bath and Body Works because that's not like as exciting and I didn't get that much. Um, They have all their fall scents out and I wanted to go crazy, but I was like, no, because I honestly have not been in Bath and Body Works in like a year because whenever I would go in there, I would seriously spend like a ridiculous amount of money, so then I just like never let myself go in there. And then they have their fall scents out, so I really needed some new hand sanitizers, so... I got some, but I also got this hand cream, and it's Cozy Vanilla Cream, and it smells so good. Oh my god. It smells so good. And my camera was, le like, legit dead, then I charged it for, like, five minutes, so... Sorry if it dies, it's already dying again. Um, and then I just got a bunch of hand sanitizers, so... This one is Perfect Potion, and it's, like, pumpkin. And these are the new packaging, and it looks like there's more product but they're actually like the same size they're still just an ounce but I kinda like the new look um this one is one of the aromatherapy ones and this is the energy one which is like orange ginger this one is sweet peach tea and this smells so good and then I got um twisted web which is um creepy orange okay I don't know it smells really good it honestly smells like a guy. Like, it smells like dude. It smells really good. Um, and then I got that same, like, cozy vanilla one that I got in the hand cream. And then I got Charming Chick, which, bleh, which sounds, like, really boring, but this one actually smells so freaking good. So, that's all I got about the Modrix. I just wanted to pick up some hand sanitizers because I haven't bought any in a really long time. And I use those, like, literally constantly when I do my makeup and at school and everything. So, I needed to get some new ones. So... Yeah, that's everything I got at Bath and Body Works. And now I have Ulta, so yeah. Um, okay, so the birthday gift thing from Ulta was um well you know I have to find it. Okay, so the birthday gift from Ulta was supposed to be this Urban Decay like mascara mini thing for September. And they didn't have it, they were like out of it. And then so the girl gave me the October gift, so it's the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss, and this is in Birthday Babe. And this is so cute because seriously, like, this was free just for your birthday, and it's literally a full-size, like, Bare Minerals Lip Gloss, so. And the color's really pretty. I don't know if you can really see the glitters in it, but it has really pretty shimmer glitter stuff in it, so, yeah. And sorry I'm, like, filming at my desk, like, so the lighting is pooey, but, um, it's, like, 8 o'clock at night, so there's no light out, and, um, I really wanted to film this video because I wanted to film it last night and then I didn't have time. So yeah. And then I got a new um one of these babies. I'm obsessed with this. It's the one arm decay powder. I'll show you guys mine. So this is the one I have right now. It's in medium neutral and I hit pan on it. So I wanted to get a new one, so I did. And this one I got in medium warm, which is one shade darker because, um, I want to go tanning, obviously, like this winter, like I usually do. So, um, if you compare them, it's not really, like, that much darker, only a little bit. So, I decided to get just one shade darker, um, in case I, like, keep tanning this winter. So, I got a new Arm Decay Naked Skin Powder, and I'm really excited. I love that it comes in this cute little thing because... I'm obsessed with this powder. I actually really love it. So, and I was gonna get the MAC um, Studio Fix powder, I think, but it was like twenty-seven dollars. So, and I didn't know if I liked it. And I've also heard that MAC like face products are really bad for your skin. So that was like the main reason I did it because I know I love that powder, but that one was like, you know, I don't really know. Um, then I got two Essence mascaras because these actually looked really good. And they were only like $4.99. So this one is the I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. And it's like a really pretty pinky purple colored tube. And this is a really wet formulated mascara, but... Which I usually hate those, but um... I recently tried this one from Stila. It looks like this. 
It's the Stila Mile High Lashes. And this is a really wet formulated mascara, and I actually love it, so. Just thought I'd tell you guys that real quick. So that, this kind of reminded me of it, so I wanted to try it out. And then this one is the Essence Plump No Clump Mascara, and it's like an orangey coral. This is, again, a wet formula, but this one has like a fatter brush, but it still has like tiny little bristles that I thought would really get into all your lashes, so yeah. Um, okay, then I got some NYX lip products because I'm like obsessed, so here they are, yeah. Um, okay, so NYX has these new things, and they're called NYX High Voltage Lipsticks, and there's one color I really want and I didn't get, so I'm gonna, you know, have to pick that up. But Elisa got it, and she loves it. So she almost bought a MAC lipstick, um, and then she found that adult, and she was so glad she didn't, because these are so, so, so good. So they're the high-voltage lipsticks, um, the names. Okay, this one is Pink Lady, which is, like, a really pretty corally color. This one is, um, Sweet 16, and it's, like, a really pretty red tone coral. And then this one is called Rags to Riches, and it's just a really nice, rich, like, red color. And then this one is Playdate, and it's a gorgeous purple, and I'm obsessed with purples. And, okay, I'm going to swatch this red one, because you guys need to be able to see, like, how pigmented these are. If I could figure out how to open it, that might, you know, kind of help. Oh, I found a little thing. Maybe. Oh my god, I hate it when I can't get things open. I hate packaging. It's so annoying. I totally messed it up. Look, I just got the lipstick, like, on that. Oops, okay, whatever. But they look like this, and they just twist up like that. And I'm just going to swatch this so you guys can... Literally, they are so, so, so pigmented. So if you're looking for um, a really good, inexpensive lipstick, these are literally amazing. They're so pigmented, and they're, like, really creamy. They're not drying at all, and they just glide on, and they're so pigmented. And I only think they have, like, six colors, but... They're still really nice. And then I got another one of this. This is the NYX Plump It Up. No. Pump It Up Lip Plumper. And this one is in Sydney, I'm pretty sure. No, Lindsay. Wrong name. But it's like a really pretty, um, just pinky, like, crystal-y color. I don't know. I thought it was really pretty. And I used this, and I kept it in my pencil case, and someone stole it. So, I bought another one. Then, okay, I got one of these NYX Glam Glosses, and this is in Groovy Babes, and it's like a really pretty purple pinky color, so I love these Glam Glosses, and I thought that this one looked like a really pretty color, so I wanted to try it out. I actually got two of these NYX Intense Butter Glosses, so um, I got Spice Cake and Funnel Delight, and they look really similar, but they're actually not. Um, Spice Cake is more of a maroon berry color, and then Funnel Delight is like a more purpley, like, I don't know, but, I guess they are kind of similar, but they're still like different, I don't know. This one's more purpley toned, this one's more like mauve red toned. Yeah! Okay, so, ah, oh, I totally messed it up, look, I just got the lipstick like on that, oops, okay, whatever. But they look like this, and they just twist up like that. And I'm just going to swatch this so you guys can... Literally, they are so, so, so pigmented. So if you're looking for um, a really good, inexpensive lipstick, these are literally amazing. They're so pigmented, and they're, like, really creamy. They're not drying at all, and they just glide on, and they're so pigmented. And I only think they have, like, six colors, but they're still really nice. And then I got another one of this. This is the NYX Plump It Up. No. Pump It Up Lip Plumper. And this one is in Sydney, I'm pretty sure. No, Lindsay. Wrong name. But it's like a really pretty, um, just pinky, like, crystal-y color. I don't know. I thought it was really pretty. And I used this, and I kept it in my pencil case, and someone stole it. So, I bought another one. Then, okay, I got one 
of these NYX Glam Glosses, and this is in Groovy Babes, and it's like a really pretty purple pinky color, so I love these Glam Glosses, and I thought that this one looked like a really pretty color, so I wanted to try it out. Okay, so of course my camera died, but I was saying that I haven't heard anything about these, but I think Elisa has. I don't know, I haven't really been watching YouTube videos lately because, like, you guys know I haven't been uploading as Okay, you guys know I haven't been uploading as often. Like, in the summer, I seriously uploaded, like, two, three times a week, you know? And then school, it's, like, once a week. So, <clears throat> it's not like I just haven't been uploading. I literally, like, don't have time for anything. So, I haven't been watching YouTube videos, so I don't know if, um, these are, like, going around. But they looked really good, and I wanted to try them. And the girl said that they are, she was wearing one of them on her lips, like, a darker color. And it looked super pigmented, so... I wanted to try it. They're just the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipsticks, and this one is in Life's a Peach. And I just got one because I wanted to try them out, and I just realized the top is like... I don't know if you can tell, but it looks sweet, so... I'm excited to try these out, um, and see how they work. And then I got, um, my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is my all-time favorite mascara, and I ran out of mine kind of a while ago, but then I bought the Steel one, but, um, I just wanted to get this one again because... I don't want to use this one every single I dropped that. I don't want to use my Stila one like every single day since it's like a high-end mascara. So I picked up another one of my Maybelline Lash Sensational because mine is really dried out. And I needed a new one so that way I can start using this again. So I got that. And then the last thing, I got two of these eyeshadows and they are called Total Intensity. And Alisa got this one in like a silvery color for homecoming and it was literally the most pigmented thing I've ever touched in my life. So I got like one of the Color Rush eyeshadows and one of the Fierce color eyeshadows. It's pretty much just like this one is like seven or eight dollars and this one is ten because it's like bigger. So this color is Spellbound and it's like a really pretty goldeny color. And they are literally so pigmented, like, so pigmented. And then this one is called Pretty in Pink, and it has, like, a really cool shape to it. Like, do you see how sick this is? And these are just literally so pigmented and so pretty. Okay, the lighting is literally disgusting. You, like, can't even see anything I'm swatching. But it's right here. Like, right there. That's this one, and then this one is the other one. So, these are really nice eyeshadows. They don't really have that many good colors, though, which is annoying. So, <clears throat> yeah, um, that kind of sucks. But if you're looking for a really good silver eyeshadow, get the bigger Total Intensity eyeshadows. The silver one is the most pigmented thing, literally, ever. So, yeah, that is everything I got from Old Time Bath & Body Works. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching, and please subscribe. And, of course, leave any requests you guys have down below because I read every single comment. So, yeah, feel free to leave me some video ideas and any other comments that you have. And my Instagram and everything is always linked in the down bar, so be sure to check that out. And, um, yeah, I guess that's it. So, I'm going to go now. I love you all so much, and I hope you have a good day or night, depending on when you are watching this. But, yeah, I love you so much. Bye. I forgot to tell you guys, so I'm just adding it in right now, but I've been meaning to tell you, but I got another scent bird. Oh, yeah, there you can read it. Little perfume. I talked about this in, I don't know if it was my last haul, maybe the one before that, I don't know. But, um, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm obsessed with these. They're so cute. So, if you didn't watch that video, it just says, like, scent bird, and then it has this, like, cute little thing the little bird and all you do is you pretty much just twist it like lipstick and then the perfume is like right there in it just sprays it and oh my god so these are literally fifteen dollars and they come like full of perfume and they're all like high-end like Dior Chanel Juicy you know what I mean like all those like really nice perfumes and they're literally fifteen dollars and you can get like the um monthly like subscription box or you can just like buy one if you're feeling it so I got another one and this one is alien perfume and I'm obsessed with this I've literally wanted this perfume since fifth grade I kid you not fifth grade um that was six years ago so I've been wanting this perfume for six years and I finally got it because 
This is like a $150 perfume, and if you get the really tiny one, it's like $75 or $80. No. So, I saw that they had Alien Perfume. Like, I had no idea they had that on the Scentbird website. They had Alien Perfume, and I teared up. Not kidding. So, I just want to tell you guys about this because these are amazing. I seriously think this is probably, like, one of the best websites I've ever discovered in my life. So, I really recommend checking them out. And it comes in, like, this really cute little, um, velvet like pouch and it's just the perfect size I keep um my other one it's a Dior perfume I keep it in my book bag with me and I use it every single day so it's just a perfect size to put in your book bag or your purse or whatever it's just a really nice size and they're like really nice high quality perfumes and they smell so good and they actually the thing I like about the high end perfume idea is that normally I wouldn't want to spend the money on a high end one because it's like I could get like 10 Bath & Body Works ones for that price but um I like these because they're really inexpensive. Hello, this is like the price of one Bath & Body Works perfume. And this scent, you seriously, well this one especially, you spray one and you're good to go the whole day. But like any other perfume like Dior, you seriously need two sprays. You're going to literally smell it on yourself the entire day. Use a Bath & Body Works perfume, you're going to give yourself 20 sprays and you're not going to smell it an hour later. Like... You need to try out these perfumes, I'm serious. They have so many scents and you can do like a scent quiz thing and you give them like um, other perfumes that you know you like and then they'll kind of like give you a selection of perfumes that you would most likely enjoy and um, yeah I'm just seriously I'm obsessed with perfume I'm like a really big perfume person so oh my god so good so good highly recommend seriously I'm gonna link it down below and I could not recommend it more honestly I could go on for days but I'm gonna just stop talking now okay I love you guys deuces <laughs>